four, three, two, one. Cue music. This is Movies First with Alex First. Top Gun Maverick is everything I wanted and more from a sequel 36 years on. It's tense, action-packed, anti-establishment and cheeky, with romance thrown in for good measure. After three decades, one of the Navy's top aviators is still doing things his way, breaking rules and getting into trouble. I speak of Pete Mitchell, a.k.a. Maverick, Tom Cruise, whose antics see him unable to rise in rank beyond that of Captain. After another such episode, apart from being chewed out, which is par for the course, he's unexpectedly summoned back to his previous base. That is at the behest of his former rival, now the commander of the US Pacific Fleet, Tom Iceman Kazansky, Val Kilmer. Maverick is pumped until he's told in no uncertain terms that he won't be taking to the skies as a fighter pilot, rather becoming an instructor. And the man reading him the right act, Admiral Bo Cyclone Simpson, John Hamm, further makes it clear this will be his final assignment. His task, and that of his charges, will be the toughest of their careers. An unnamed enemy has developed a uranium plant, which is heavily fortified and poses a threat to allies in the region. The adversary has the benefit of advanced aviation technology, and Maverick has three weeks in which to train the new crop of the best of the best fighter pilots. They must seize the smallest window of opportunity before the plant becomes operational. The target is minuscule, surrounded by high mountains. If truth be told, what's being asked of these brave aerialists amounts to a suicide mission. Among their number is the son of Maverick's former best buddy, Goose, who died in his arms. Bradley Rooster Bradshaw, Miles Teller, blames Maverick for not protecting his father and for shanghaiing his, that's Rooster's, career by four years. Then there's the cocksure Jake Hangman Saracen, Glenn Powell, who keeps telling his cohort just how good he is. In fact, there are a dozen gun performers put up for the mission, only six of whom will be given the nod, the rest remaining as backup. From day one, Maverick leads them a merry dance, and naturally, it's not all blue skies and sunshine. You're listening to Movies First. For more, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. The Top Gun Maverick script by Erin Kruger, Eric Warren Singer and Christopher McQuarrie is a beauty. It's one that will appeal to both fans of the original and those without that history. Director Joseph Kosinski, who worked with Cruz on Oblivion, has done a fine job integrating the backstory into the present, enabling the characters to move forward. Even after all these years, Cruz is totally at ease wearing the hero's bomber jacket, and dare I say, it still fits comfortably. Around him, the new fighter pilots also stand tall. Among the most noteworthy is the aggrieved rooster. Miles Teller puts on a good show, while Glenn Powell channels arrogance with distinction as hangman. I also liked Bashir Balahuddin as Maverick's right-hand man, Bernie Hondo Coleman. Hondo knows all too well just how far Maverick is willing to push and is loyal to a fault. Salahuddin brings warmth to the role. As Admiral Solomon Warlock Bates, Charles Parnell traverses the fine line of trying to keep Maverick in line while admiring his moxie. Jennifer Connolly more than holds her own as Maverick's love interest, Penny Benjamin. She's a strong-willed and independent woman who Maverick has hurt before, but remains attracted to his charm and attitude. Visually, Top Gun Maverick is stunning. The aerial manoeuvres in particular are the stuff of daredevils. But that's not to undersell the sea shots and those on land. It's an exercise in accentuating the best out of each scene, the work of Claudio Miranda, who also worked on Oblivion. There's also a throwback to footage from Top Gun, the movie released in 1986, which is well worked into the story arc and a pleasant trip down memory lane. Musically too, the score by Lorne Balfe, Harold Faltermeyer and Hans Zimmer works a treat, delivering no shortage of pulsating energetic numbers. So there's a great deal to appreciate about 
Top Gun Maverick, which remains true to the original script. It captures bravado with a capital B and is thoroughly entertaining throughout. It scores an 8.5 to 9 out of 10. You've been listening to Movies First with Alex First. Available at Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio or your favourite podcast player. You can also stream on demand at Bytes.com. This has been another quality podcast production from Bytes.com.